Hi, it's Steve. In this video, we're going to troubleshoot why your refrigerator may be leaking. We'll look at some of the common causes that may cause a leak, the parts that are associated with it, where they're located, and what those parts actually do. We'll also talk about how the location of the leak may be a clue as to what the part may be causing that leak. One of the most common causes for a water leak in a refrigerator is related to defrost water. All refrigerators have an evaporator and a drain tray located below that. The drain tray collects the defrost water, directs it down through the interior of the refrigerator wall to a drip tray located typically at the back of the refrigerator close to the floor. If that evaporator drain tray is restricted, plugged, or cracked and damaged, it may cause a water leak and that will occur typically in either the freezer area or on some models perhaps in the fresh food section. Depending on your model, the style of that evaporator drain tray will change. So we'll show you a few samples. Now on a typical top mount refrigerator, we have an evaporator that is either located on the back wall or on the floor of the freezer area. Beneath that evaporator will be a drain tray. Below the evaporator will be a heater, and that's what melts the frost on that evaporator coil, turns it to water, and the drain tray will collect that water. In some cases, it will direct it down into the fresh food section where the housing will have a drain tube that directs it out through the back of the refrigerator to an exterior drain tray. On other styles of top mount refrigerators, you may find a drain pan that is very similar to the style that you would see in a side-by-side -side, in that they have a small opening for the drain water to exit. Now, typically on this style of refrigerator, there will be internal tubing located inside the foamed in back wall of the refrigerator that runs directly from the bottom of this drain pan right through to an external drain pan located at the rear of the refrigerator near the floor. Now on this model with the large hole in the evaporator drain pan, it comes down through that freezer floor into the fresh food ceiling. And you'll see that large opening. That water will drain into a cup that is located on the back of that control housing. Water will pool in this area and then it's directed out through that small hole at the rear and into the external tubing that goes to the exterior of the refrigerator. So it's pretty easy for something to plug up this hole and that defrost water will then spill out over the edge and collect on the shelving in the interior of the refrigerator section. Now as mentioned, typically there are two drain pans on a refrigerator. One that is located beneath the evaporator, which is often called the evaporator drain tray, and that will be located in the freezer section. And there is some associated tubing that will direct that defrost water to an external drip tray or drain pan, typically located at the back of the refrigerator next to the floor. Now if the location of your water leak is below the refrigerator and is pouring out underneath the front access panel, you may suspect that you have a problem with the rear drain pan or the associated tubing that drains the water into that pan. Now in this style of top mount refrigerator, it has a static condenser and therefore there is no airflow over the drain pan. So the drain pan on this one is located right on top of the compressor where the heat of that compressor will evaporate the water internally in that tray. The tubing that directs that water from the fresh food section of this particular model exits over on the left here, has a little bit of a P-trap in it, and then drains into the top of this. This is the drain tubing. And if that pan is cracked, that water will run out the bottom of it and probably will pool directly under the refrigerator and may flow towards the front. Now on this top mount model, we again have a fan forced condenser with a drip tray located directly below the condenser. So the heat of the condenser plus the air flowing across the top of it will evaporate that defrost water. The tubing from the evaporator area is internal in the cabinet, exits right in this area and has a little extension on it. If we suspect that the drain is plugged internally, we would clean it from the bottom side up so as we don't cause a more severe restriction. Another common source for water leaks in a refrigerator could be related to the water filter. 
models where the water filter is located inside the fresh food compartment, you may see some water collecting on a shelf somewhere in that area. On models that have the water filter located externally, such as through the lower kick panel, you may see some water collecting on the floor in front of that. So the first step is to locate the filter and check that area. Now if you have this style of a model with the water filter located through the toe plate and you see water pooling in this area, well first of all I want to check the filter itself. On models that use a quarter turn, we simply turn it a quarter turn counterclockwise and pull that out. We'll verify that the O-rings on the end are in good shape, aren't dried out or damaged and shrunk. And if so, you'll need to replace the filter. On models that have the push button release, we're simply going to pull that filter out. Again, we'll inspect the O-rings on the end, make sure they're in good shape. And if not, you'll need to replace that filter. We'll also want to make sure that when we install that, that it's firmly latched into place. Now, if that doesn't resolve our leak, we may suspect that we have a problem with the actual filter housing. At the rear of that housing, there are both an input and output connection to that filter housing with plastic tubing attached to it. We'll inspect those connections to make sure that they're nice and secure and that we don't have a leak in that area. We'll also want to check the housing and verify that there are no cracks or damage to that housing, again, creating a leak. Internally, in that housing, we may have an issue with where the O-rings attach to it. So if it turns out that your housing is at fault, it's a relatively simple procedure to replace it. You simply need to remove the mounting screws on the front and unattach the wire support strap on the side. Need help with anything else around your home? Search our channel for thousands of helpful videos that will walk you through your home repairs. For more information or the parts needed for these repairs, don't forget to check out PartSelect.com. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe.